Good morning. Uh, my name is Roz Motes, and I'm here to share the scripture for Sunday, July 3rd. The first reading comes to us from Isaiah 66, verses 10 through 14. It reminds us to rejoice and be glad. These verses portray Jerusalem as an affectionate mother who nurtures and feeds her babies, carrying them in her arms. In verse 13, the mothering metaphor switches from Jerusalem to God. And just as a mother comforts her children, so God will comfort us. Under God's loving care, the very bodies and spirits of God's people receive restoration. The psalm is from Psalm 66, verses 1 to 9. And it shouts to us, be joyful, sing praises to God. We should remember in Exodus that the Lord delivered the Israelites through the Red Sea on dry ground. And as God works miracles or answers prayers in our lives, that we should never forget to give him many thanks. The psalmist calls all the earth to make a joyful noise, singing praises to God's holy name. The second lesson comes to us from Galatians chapter 6, verses 1 to 6 and 7 to 16. In this letter to the Galatians, Paul reminds them that their faith makes them part of God's family. But no one should ever think that they can live totally independent or that they don't need to help others because that goes against everything that we're being taught. As the body of Christ, the church, we need to work together for the common good of all. But we also need to be careful and we need to protect ourselves from things that try and lead us down the wrong path, such as temptation. It also calls us to take care of our spiritual leaders and uh, we are to have a gracious spirit and show honor and appreciation to them for all that they have done. So thank you, Pastor Bob, for teaching us about God's love and for also teaching us how to be caring and to serve others. I know that these lessons have not always been easy, but I see a healthier, more loving, more caring and generous congregation for all of us that live in this family of faith. In the reading, it also says that we reap what we sow. Wouldn't you be surprised if you planted corn and pumpkins grew? Well, it's no different in other areas of our lives. If we gossip about people, we risk the loss of friendship. It says whenever we have opportunity, we should work for the good of others. If we plant seeds to please God, we will reap joy and everlasting life. What kind of seeds are you planting in your life? The end of this passage talks to us a lot about circumcision. And I'll be honest, it's a little confusing. But what I really think about what it's saying refers to us here today. Some people choose a certain principle and make that the measure for their faith, such as they may hate drunkenness, but have no problem with overeating. The entire Bible gives us guidelines for our lives and for our faith. All we need to do is read it and see how God is speaking to us. The gospel lesson comes to us from Luke chapter 10, verses one to 11 and 16 to 20. And Jesus gives his disciples very specific directions. He says, no bag, no sandals, greet no one on the road, and stay in only one house. I believe this was to help them settle down and get right to their work without causing any commotion in the town or in the home they were staying in. He told them, eat what is set before you and to accept hospitality without being picky, and also to care for the sick. Because of these healings that they performed, the people would be willing to listen to the gospel message. 
Skipping forward, we see that they return and they are elated about their victory in this ministry. Jesus rejoices with them, but he also helps them to get their priorities in order because he reminds them of the greatest and most, vic most important victory that we have. And that was that their names would be written in heaven. As we see God's wanders before and in and through us, we too should not lose sight of the greatest wonder of all, our heavenly citizenship. Eternity with our Lord and Savior is the greatest gift, and Jesus died so that we could all receive it. Thank you. Have a great week, and I hope this has been helpful.